Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on getting started with Google Sites. Now this tutorial is going to be very short. It's just going to cover a couple of the quick basics. The first thing I'm going to do is open up a Chrome browser. And while it's not necessary to use a Chrome browser, um, I, I like to stay with one platform. So the first thing I'm going to do is navigate to sites.google.com. And this takes us to the interface where we can go to, by default, our old sites, which is what this would create button would be, or to our new sites. Before I jump into our new sites, I'm going to go ahead and very quickly visit a, excuse me, an older site that I've made with Google Sites. And here's another one. Again, these are really typical of the older style of Google Sites. This one's obviously been customized for this particular program, but I've got my graphics in place. I've got my little designer menus, etc. So, so much for memory lane. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the left where it says new Google Sites, and I'm going to click in here. Now, if this is the very first time you are coming into here, you will more than likely get an option for a tour, and certainly by all means, Please go ahead and take a look through that tour. But I've been in here a couple times, so I'm going to jump right into creating a new one. In the lower right is a plus button. I'm going to click on create new site by clicking on that button. And here is the interface for the new Google Sites. Now you'll notice that it looks very different from the older sites, and it has a very tight integration with Google Docs. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. I'm going to give that a name of getting started one and that's going to be appearing on my main page in, in terms of the topic bar what i do want to do is i want to give the site up in the upper left a title as well in this case i'm going to give it the same name okay and probably one of the more important parts here is that until you click on publish nothing is really live on the web so even though google is saving your content in the background which is a, a, a great thing. Um, until you click on publish, it won't actually go out. So I'm going to go ahead and type in. Now this is the URL, which means, and it's actually telling me that's already taken, mainly because I've done this before. I'm going to do part one. Okay, so this is going to govern the actual URL where my content is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a name and click on publish. Now, next thing you need to remember is this is your editor. This is not your final viewing product and this is not what your audience will see. So we do want to go out and take a look at what that's going to look like. So if I click in the upper right corner in the drop down and go to view published site, here is what the site will look like. Notice that it takes up the entire screen. There's not much content here, so there's no scrolling in this particular case, but this is the actual final product. Now, if I'm putting this on a project page, such as a portfolio or a specific um, project uh, page, I'm going to go ahead and click in here. I'm going to copy that by doing a control C or a command C. And I'm going to, in my particular case, jump back over here to my MSCT portfolio, wherever that may be. And I would add that to whichever course it needed to be added to. I'm going to stop this video now. Once I'm back here in my editor, I'm going to stop this video now and I will be getting back to you shortly with more pieces.